Have you ever wondered, after a hard night's partying at a bike rally, what these guys have for breakfast the following morning? So, Tiny, what are you going to be cooking for us this morning? Well, Nev, normally on a, on a morning after the, the night spotting at a rally, we have liquid breakfast, which most guys have, or you go and stand in a queue outside the hot dog stand or hamburger stand and wait for half an hour or something for that. So we decided that we'd find a way to make a breakfast which is easy and we can add all the ingredients, not too difficult to make. So this morning we're going to make a biker's omelette. We've got sausages, onions, We've got cheese here, you've got to have cheese in the omelette. Some spring onions here, then you've got to have greens, always greens at the rally. Some ham, mushrooms, and tomato and onions. And then, of course, the basic ingredient, the eggs. How are you going to put this all together? So you just toss all of the eggs into this bowl there and you mix them all up, shut it like that. Like you're making eggs at home, you see. You're doing a great job with those eggs there, Tony. Normally I get some ladies to do the eggs. <laughs> All right, now we've got that all mixed up, all mixed up. Got to have a sip. Mm -hmm. So then what you do is, you take the cheese and you add that in there. And you add some cheese into there. Okay, there, like that. Mix it up so you get a nice texture there. See, it's not too much, not too little. Yeah, hey, that's great. Isn't it? Okay, and some of these onions. Some greens in there. Like right, that, give it another mix. And the ham, you've got to have exactly the right amount of ham. You've got to measure that so that you've got the right per person, okay, which is about that much. Well, that's okay, that's pretty cool. Right, that shows how much ham you put in there. Get it all so they're not sticking. Some shush. Mushrooms, the ones from the deli, not the ones from the bush. Put them in. Yeah, that's about the right amount. And there we give it a nice little mix up again. And just to give it a bit of a tangy taste and a bit of onions and tomatoes in there. You can use chakralak or whatever you're using, you know, sometimes the guys want something hot. A couple of dashes of that in, and you mix it up. And then we need to season this. You can pass us the pepper and the salt over, please. That's the pepper. There you go. go. Right, there we go. Nice. A lot of pepper in there. I get some taste. There we go. And now we need to add some salt as well. Neville, could I have some salt there, please? Salt? No problem, Tiny Watch. You need a bit more. No, okay, that's good, that's good. Is that good? That's good, that's good. there that's we good. go. Yeah, yeah. Right, open your hand. No, no, no. <laughs> where, <laughs> Sorry, where'd you, Tony. Where'd you go with that salt? Though? You wanted... <laughs> yeah, please, please. Well, you saw me put it in my hand. Watch, shall we go? Nah, jeez. <laughs> what was I drinking last night? Eh? It, can you believe these? It's a little bit of salt in there. Gonna throw some over there. It's a clever trick. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and then, being on a rally with the bikers, you need to add some secret herbs and spices, which we keep hidden from the public. But well, you got to just add some of that in there, like that. You see, and uh, mix it all up. And we've got the makings of a lacquer biker's omelette, all in one dish. Okay, Tiny, so the mix is in the bowl. Now all we need is a pan. No, Neville, at the rally we don't use a pan, John. It's going to take too long. But if you pass me another one of these beers, I'll show you how we cook these omelettes, biker style. Thank you indeed, sir. Right, we need to have this sip first. That's the important part, is having the sip. Otherwise, you won't get it right. Mmm. You see, what we do, we take these bags, normal Ziploc bags that you get at any supermarket. And then we're fortunate today to have a bowl. You're normally an old jam tin will work for this. Okay, so what you do is you take it and you put it in there, like that. 
Okay, so it's easy for one man to handle. And then you get a spoon and you just add some of your ingredients in there. Like that. And then you're probably wondering about them sausages. You take one sausage nugget, pop it in the bag, anywhere you like, pull it out and close it. And there you've got your omelette ready to be cooked. All we need now is a skewer and a pot of boiling water. We take the skewer, just put it through the top, top of the bag like that, and drop it into the boiling water as such. And then we leave it in the pot for about 10 to 15 minutes until the egg is all solidified and you've got a nice round solid omelette. Of course you're not limited to one bag to a pot. As you can see, there are quite a few in there. And we've got lots of hungry people to feed. So Tiny, let's give it a go. Well, as, as with everything else we do, first got to have a sip. Mm -hmm. Right, I think should be done. Let's whack them out of the old pot there and feed the boys. You see, all you do is take them out, whack them down on the table. Do it with your skewer, give that away. And then what you do is you just take the bag, unlock it, and there you go. Give it a taste and see whether it's uh, up to standard. Mmm, tiny. This is amazing. Oh, thank you very much. Now you know why most bikers look like I look, eh? <laughs> Good eating at the radish.